It's common for people to argue that school choice is just going to harm the kids from low-income neighborhoods who have fewer options but will have resources drained away. Do you think that's fair? It's a risk. Yeah, yeah. And this is this is where I get in trouble with 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 my, you know, ed reform friends because I know what the right answer is supposed to be and I know what the research says, which is that no, when you have a free market, it creates a rising tide that lifts all boats. I I, I talked about this in in my book about Success Academy and this gets back to my experience teaching at 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 PS277. So, you know, in theory, there were no charter schools or very few uh, at the time when I was teaching in, in that neighborhood. But if, if I were teaching there now, I think about the kids in my classroom over the years who'd be the first out the door if, if, if there was a better option for, for them um, that rewarded their, you know, their, 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 their initiative and ambition. So there goes Tiffany, there goes J-Rod, there goes Dominique, there goes, you know, these kids who are, you know, like, my, my not not just high flyers, but they were just kind of you know invested in their education, and and now that's going to make me better. That's going to make my school better. That's going to the fear of losing those kids is going to um, incentivize me to work harder. Lady, I could not have worked harder. Okay, that was not part of my experience. Um, I've said, you know, a thousand times since then that teaching is the hardest job in the world to do well and the easiest job in the world to do badly. You could not have asked me to work. It's the hardest damn job I ever did. Period. Full stop. The idea that you're going to that 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 either losing uh, um, engaged kids or the threat of losing them is going to be the thing that uh, I, the theory of change just doesn't make sense to me. Hannah is, is is my point. I don't care what the data says. You know, strike me dead, drum me out of the Ed Reform Corps. It doesn't make sense to me to say that um, that 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 uh, th those competitive effects are going to be enough to 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 raise my game. Okay, but there's a but coming. The but is I don't want to keep Tiffany and J Rod and Dominique and those other kids locked up in my school and deny them that other option. Why? Because it's America, okay? <laughs> like, nobody tells me as a well-off white person where to send my kid to school. When we, when we denied the public school system the resource that was my high-functioning child, and again, I'm making your quotes, because that's just not a conversation. You do that every day and and uncontroversially. Nobody raises an eyebrow if my kid goes to private school. Nobody raises an eyebrow if I buy a home in Larchmont or Montclair where they have, quote, good schools. So why the hell do we think we have the right to deny low-income people of color the, the, the ability to do the exact same thing for their children? But, okay, now I'm going to focus for change. Does that make the public school system better or worse? How could it not make it worse? Good Lord. Like, when, when you take the most engaged families, you know, out of those schools and then say, okay, now the conditions exist for you to improve? Are you high? That, that, can't, that can't possibly be the case. Okay, now there's another but coming. This is why I focus on curriculum and instruction. This is why I focus on the content of education. Because I'm sorry, choice advocates and my fellow you know, choice warriors, the public school system's not going to go away, okay? If you create the conditions that allow the most engaged and ambitious families to exit, and we should then you are going to be left with a situation in which schools like mine, which are already um, under pressure, are by definition, axiomatically, the schools of last resort. They're not going away. They must be better, okay? We're not going to make them better by wagging our fingers at them. We're not going to make them better by holding them accountable. We're going to make them better by filling them with, with dedicated men and women who, who want to do right by kids and giving them what they need to do so, okay? And that is not, to bring our conversation full circle, that is not by handing me the keys to the classroom and saying, figure it out, okay? It's by structuring it. It's by having a curriculum. It's by having training that says, here's what you do when you teach kids. 
okay? Here's what good teaching is. Here's what it looks like, okay? And we're going to teach you how to do it because we have to teach you how to do it because there's some large number of kids in our country for whom there's no other choice. You are the choice. You must be better. I feel like I should applaud. That was, that was fantastic. 